like a cargo you will carry me i just hope you know my depth even though it makes no sense sun is on broken too much of emotion sun is on the lining don't wanna pick a fight with I just finished my workout for today. I followed a Heather Arbson hit workout and oh my God, I am exhausted. That thing kicked my ass. I literally felt like I was in an F45 class, so that's good. But today I'm filming one of my productive Monday videos. You guys really enjoy these videos and I love showing you how I start off my week on a productive note because I think if you start your week on a high, it only leads to you being more productive throughout the rest of your week. And I think that's so important. So yeah, today is part of my Productive Monday. I showed you guys me making breakfast in my workout so far and I'm about to have my protein for the morning post-workout. So this portion of the video is sponsored by Built Bar. You guys know that I work with them and that I love them so, 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 so much. They have so many flavors, which is amazing. And they actually did reformulate to have an even better taste and texture, which is great. This one is the double chocolate. So it is 130 calories, 17 grams of protein, which is superb. It is gluten-free. It has no preservatives and natural flavoring. They're just an amazing post-workout snack or you can bring them on the go with you. Sometimes I'll pack one in my purse if I know like I'm gonna need a snack in between meals and I can just have this and it's just, delicioso so i do have a discount code i'm gonna have it on the screen here if you guys want to shop them and get some money off i also will have a link down below to shop where the discount will already be applied at checkout which is great for first timers i definitely recommend just getting the mixed box that way you can try out all the different flavors and figure out which one is your favorite thank you to Belfar for sponsoring this little portion of the video i'm gonna go ahead and eat this now and if you guys order these and try them let me know what you think Leave me a message, Instagram message me. I just love to talk to you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat this now. And then we desperately need to shower. I didn't wanna wash my hair today, but honestly it might have to happen because I was getting real sweaty. I was getting real, 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 real sweaty up in there during that workout, so. Here is my outfit for today. Just something super comfy and casual. It's not really warm out today. It's like 20, hence the hoodie because probably going to be cold. I have my normal jewelry on. I did my foundation free makeup that I do on the daily. Makes me feel a bit more refreshed, but you still feel like you have literally no makeup on, which is always the goal. Also, didn't wash my hair. No, we did a, we did a dry shampoo situation. I just did not feel like having wet hair. It's cold and rainy out and I just, I just wasn't feeling it. So tomorrow we'll wash your hair, but for right now, we're good to go. I'm gonna make a smoothie quickly and then I'm gonna head out. I have like a couple errands I wanna run. I wanna go pick up a ringed notebook just to have in my desk situation for like planning things. Like I have a couple trips that are planned for this summer, just like local Canadian trips that I wanna like plan out kind of like what, what I wanna do. And I, I like to write it out on paper. You know, it just makes me, I don't know. Reminds me of like school and I just, my brain works better when I visually 
write it down. I think I'm gonna go to the health food store and see about the snack situation. And then I think I need to go to the grocery store and just pick up a couple things that I need. But that is the game plan. I'm gonna go make my smoothie now, drink that quickly, and then we'll head out and do our errands. isn't the most perfect looking green smoothie you've ever seen. Perfect consistency, perfect color, and it tastes like a tropical dream, okay? I know how to make a really good green smoothie. I should open a smoothie bar. <laughs> but honestly, the key to making a good green smoothie, in my humble opinion, is to mix tropical fruit with your greens. They pair the best together pineapple, mango, and spinach or kale, they go hand in hand. If you want to taste really good, use pure orange juice as the base. You can add like a little bit of water too. It's delicious. They just go together like a dream. If you haven't tried it, you need to. I'm just heading out, but I don't think I ever showed you guys my sneakers that I bought. These are my newest pair. They're like my new walking outdoor kind of shoes they're actually water resistant which is why I got them for outside just for like going for walks so don't have to worry about them as much they're by the North Face and they're just so nice they make you feel like you have like a spring in your step they're actually technically trail shoes so you can wear them to run on trails or anything like that but I just really enjoy them Alright guys, I went into chapters. I just got a couple things. I found the cutest little set of pajamas. So I picked these up. I just loved this pattern. Like that's so summery. So just one of those little button up short sets. So I got this one. It was on sale too. It was only $38. Picked up this. I think they're having some sort of sale because my total was really low. <laughs> I also got this little notebook. I wanted just something that I could plan out a bunch of stuff in. So obviously I have a couple trips, like I said, this summer. So I wanna be able to plan it out and write it down. And then I'm a sucker for stationery. So I also picked up these really cute pens. They're called Le Pen in retro colors. They're quick drying smear resistant pens. I love pens like this for writing. They're like my favorite, like better than gel pens. I love like the little smear resistant like tiny markers i feel like my writing is just way better when i use these so i picked these up as well no books this time because i definitely have enough books to last me like the next couple months so did not need to buy more of those but i'm really excited for my pajamas they're so summery and cute that made me so happy i almost bought another pair but then i was like no chelsea you don't need to you don't need that many pairs of pajamas but honestly i wanted them so we'll see not right now though Anyways, I think I'm gonna head to the grocery store now. I was gonna go to the health food store, but they have like snacks at the grocery store, so I might as well just go there. I think that's the plan. So we're gonna head to the grocery store. I also need to get gas. You know, just those everyday necessities, but I'm so excited that I have my notebook. Okay, let's go. My mom has been working hard on her garden. She added even more flowers. They're so pretty. And then she had this fountain that she bought off of Kijiji, but it was actually broken, so the guy kind of ripped her off. But she made it into a little planter. And it's so cute. <laughs> and then these ones are really nice down here too. So many pretty flowers. I bet you think that I should calm down. realized how convenient this pen holder is like look it just sits up like this and then you can just slot them back in like this I freaking love this thing it is so convenient for travel that the lid just doesn't like detach this is actually like a usable little container for your pens Oop. 
like that. I love that. You can just bring it to go. It's like the best thing ever. So yeah, I'm gonna start planning for Prince Edward County because that's the first thing that I have coming up. It's still not for like a month, under a month now, but always good to plan ahead and figure out kind of like where you wanna go, what you wanna do, you know, just get some ideas if you like to plan ahead like I do. having a sandwich that I made and I'm gonna have some carrots with this dip. This is like the best veggie dip, avocado ranch. It is so good. So I'm just gonna dip my carrots in there and have my little sandwich. I'm sorry for the fan noise. My dad's making a, a roast or something. What is it? Pork shoulder. Pork shoulder. All right. <laughs> yes, this is my lunch. Yum. I also thought I would update you guys on two new things I started last night. <laughs> well, today. This last night and this morning. So I'm reading finally the Infernal Devices books. This is obviously number one. I know these are really old and I feel like there's a lot of people that are huge, huge fans of this series. So I read all of the Mortal Instruments books way back in the day when I was like a teenager and I loved them. I never read the Infernal Devices. I feel like that kind of came out when I stopped reading when I was at school and stuff. So I never really read these, but I'm reading them now. And I was like burning through it. Like I love the characters. Like I love the way Cassandra Clare writes characters because she gives them like a lot of personality, which I enjoy. I don't like bland characters. And I find with a lot of books, if I don't feel like there's enough character development or I can really feel the personality coming out of the characters in the novel, then I don't really enjoy it as much. So I love this so far and I can't wait to see where it goes. I've heard amazing things about Will Herondale. Like I feel like you love and hate him. I think that's what people told me, but we'll find out. Usually I love characters like that. <laughs> and then I also decided that I'm finally gonna do the five minute journal and I'm gonna try and do this, like actually stick with it. So basically it's like a guided journal. So I'll just open it up to a random page. So you have like a little quote, a place you can put the date in, then you put in three things that you were grateful for, what, you would, what would make today great and a daily affirmation. You do that in the morning and then before you go to bed, you write down, three amazing things that happened today and how could you have made today even better? So I'm gonna try and actually complete it. So I did it one day. I've done one day <laughs> and we're gonna see how many days I can do this for. I feel like it'd be so nice to like actually finish one and be able to look back and be like, wow, I actually completed a journal kind of thing. And it just makes it really simple because obviously it is guided, which is nice. And I feel like it's just really good for your mental health to just reflect on your day. And also to help you become more positive is to really write down good things that happen to you. Because a lot of times good things happen, but we focus so much on the negatives that we just forget about the good things that happen in our day. So I just think this is so important. And yeah, I hope that I do well <laughs> and finish this. And I'm also just excited to read more of this book. I really wanna read some right now. Honestly, I'm making a tea right now because I have like a chill. It's freezing and raining and disgusting out today. So not much for outdoor adventures, but I might do some more reading and see how far I can get into this book because I'm thoroughly enjoying it already. And from our, what I remember of the moral instruments is that I literally burned through them and like literally stayed up didn't sleep to read these books. So I'm excited for this and I'm excited for this. I'm just excited about books. just 
been planning out some things to do for Vancouver as well. I don't think I told you guys before, but I'm going to Vancouver with Aiden at the end of July. So I'm planning out some things to do there. I really want to do a whale watching tour. So hopefully he's down because I've always wanted to see a whale and I feel like I would cry and it's just something I want to do. So hoping he's down for that, but I planned out some other things just that I've seen. These aren't like for sure, just kind of stuff that I've seen to do there that I'd want to do. I want to do a bunch of like outdoor stuff during the day because I love seeing nature in Vancouver is so beautiful. So I really want to take advantage of it every day and see like something beautiful every single day, rain or shine. So I've just been planning that out, looking at prices and whatnot of stuff because I'm just crazy and I like to plan ahead. Let me know if any of you are like this. Also, if you're from Vancouver and you can think of anything cool to do, let me know as well. Love to know. I'm just packing to go to Aiden's tonight. This is my little, over over this is my little overnight bag. It's so cute. I got it in a FabFitFun box and I love it, but I'm being good and I'm remembering to pack my five minute journal so I can do it tonight and not forget. Apparently this thing's coming with me everywhere now so that I can journal before bed, but I have this. I also packed my book because we're like old people and sometimes we like to read before bed and my new pajamas because I want to show them to Aiden. They're so cute. And just my little bag that I bring with all of my skincare to wash my face. But, oh my God, where is my bubbly? I wanted to show you guys my bubbly. Okay, I got some of these. Bubbly or buble, bubbly. I don't know, they're really hyped up in Canada. Everyone was talking about them. And I heard the pan and I heard the pineapple one was good. So I got this one and honestly, it's really good. Like I highly enjoy this. So it's no calories, no sweeteners. How much sugar is in this thing? Zero grams. Wow, delicioso. It's basically like sparkling water, but it tastes like slightly like pineapple, but without like the overly sweetness, which I actually don't like. I'm not like a big sweet drink person. So I am thoroughly enjoying this. It's really good. And y'all should try them. <laughs> I like this drink. It's good. Hello everyone. I'm at Aiden's house now. <laughs> and our plan for the evening is that we're gonna watch Netflix. We've been really into this documentary about the human body. So we're gonna watch that and eat some spicy dill pickle chips. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new, make sure you subscribe. And I will see you all in my next video. Say bye.